this seven part video series on tradition I have shared these things from my experience and from the standpoint of the Bible even as I have been saying these things I have been letting go of other false traditions that I did in the past I have been repenting before God and the truth has set me free in these videos I will not focus on specific people who follow these false traditions but I want people to know the truth most of the things in Judaism that people know about came from tradition and are not according to God's commandment this includes the manner in which people celebrate the Sabbath and holidays how they use special objects and conduct ceremony tradition is one of the biggest serious barriers that prevent people from entering the kingdom of God and becoming a true disciples of Jesus Jesus said whoever of you does not forsake all that he has cannot be my disciple Luke 14 33 people please wake up seek God before it is too late ask him to reveal the truth to you do you think that these things are easy to hear of course not we all have grown under the burden of tradition in our lives but God patience has almost run out either choose God or choose tradition we should not walk with one foot in tradition and one foot in Jesus what does God command us to do do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers for what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness and what communion has light with darkness and what accord has Christ with Belial or what part has a believer with an unbeliever and what agreement has the temple of God with idols for you are the temple of the living God as God has said I will dwell in them and walk among them I will be their God and they shall be my people therefore come out from among them and be separate says the Lord do not touch what is unclean and I will receive you I will be a father to you and you shall be my sons and daughters says the Lord Almighty 2 Corinthians 6 14 till 18 God is saying to all of us I have patient but it is running out as in the days of Noah when I brought the flood my patient is almost gone tradition holds people back from knowing my ways and keeps them in confusion people are not reading my word they want other people to feed them your idols will not protect you you will perish along with them in my judgment if you do not repent as Paul the Apostle preached God overlooked ignorance beforehand but now he calls people everywhere to repent you need to understand that the only way that I am giving you is to repent and humble yourself before me then I will come and I will help you you need to live the life of convenience some of you need to realize that 
even if your family will abandon you because of these actions as you come before me in repentance i will protect you and provide whatever you need but if you don't do this you will perish you don't have a lot of time left do it now it doesn't matter how high or low your status is you will all perish in the same way if you do not repent stop deceiving the people because god has a higher demand on those who teach others he doesn't want you to perish but he is very angry the choice is yours if you want to keep your life you will lose it if you will lose your life for my name you will keep it can a short time of pain be compared with an internal separation from god and suffering in hell don't try to please men this will not help them i cry over my people who are like sheep without a shepherd and i'm angry with the leaders who caused them to sin i will make those deceivers like a desert without water but those who obey me i will make fruitful i will consume anyone who continues to mix the holy and the unholy and i will not have mercy anymore hear and obey these videos are for everyone if you know that the holy spirit is convicting you of false traditions that you have not repented of please turn away from them now if you need help you can contact us or other people who have chosen to leave everything behind and follow jesus come to jesus with a humble and honest heart surrendering 100 percent please don't waste time tomorrow is not guaranteed for you maybe you have truly repented but have not been baptized after repentance for the forgiveness of sins or receive the holy spirit as is described in the book of acts if so don't delay contact us or someone else who is already born again of water and spirit let the past get buried in the water and receive the power of the holy spirit to be his witness only then will you be able to walk according to the spirit and not fulfill the desires of the flesh galatians 5 16 the blood of christ who through the internal spirit offered himself without spot to god will cleanse your conscience from dead works to serve the living god from hebrews 9 14 i leave you with this scripture to listen to jesus whom god promised to send as a prophet like moses while he peter was still speaking behold a bright cloud overshadowed them and suddenly a voice came out of the cloud saying this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased hear him matthew 17 5.